Hello, my name is Yuri Yurchuk and uh, this summer in Salino Opera Festival I'm doing part of Don Giovanni in Opera Don Giovanni. The famous uh, seducer, lover and vagabond. I grew up in Ukraine and my family was very poor and art wasn't an option to pursue. So I became an accountant and I worked for large investment funds in Ukraine and then in Chicago in the US. Music always attracted me and uh, uh, I always wanted to be a part of it, not just as a listener, but as a performer. I found an amazing guy, his name is Mark Embry, who told me, well, you're just doing it all wrong. You're standing wrong, you're sing uh, singing wrong, you're breathing not in the right way, etc., etc. And we started working first as a hobby. Um, I saw my first opera at that time, and I thought then, well, if I want to do one thing in my life, that I, it needs to be connected with that somehow. Uh, and then we uh, started taking classes, I won some competitions and uh, eventually got accepted to Royal Opera House in London, the artist program. So who is Don Giovanni? You know, the common knowledge is that it's based on the character of Don Juan or uh, Casanova, who uh, chases m women, uh, uses them for his uh, minute pleasure and uh, generally is not a very nice guy in that sense. You know, as a performer singing this role, you cannot think that. You kind of ha have to make it work for yourself on stage, of course, but it has to be in a way truthful, you know, he has to be convinced that what, what, what he's doing is the right thing. What I find especially funny in the opera, as usually for baritone in opera, he does not get a girl. If you actually look inside the opera carefully, he never really gets successful. And uh, it's, I think, an in intentional comedy there, you know, like the famous seducer who runs around chasing about five, six women in the course of opera. Not, not, not really working out for him that well. Well, our rehearsal is quite demanding at the moment. Yeah, we're doing evening and morning sessions and, and uh, I get an apartment which is a bit of um, further away from the rehearsal venue and uh, I decided to bike there, so I'm getting an hour of cardio daily as well. This space is just insanely beautiful. Doing this opera in this castle, which was built five and a half centuries ago, it's pretty awesome, I think. We want for the audience to believe us. And when they're surrounded by, that, by those walls, which seen probably their own Casanova and stuff, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. And the production serves as a very nice framework to tell the story, for the story to make sense. So it is interesting, it is exciting, there is love, there is betrayal, there is hate, there is friendship, there is quite a bit of comedy, um, there are some really, really good voices on stage. So uh, quite a few things to try, especially for those whom it's the first time seeing opera. Even knowing very little about the opera, you'll get what's happening on stage. You'll laugh, you'll uh, get excited, you'll get curious what's going to happen. Uh, it's, it's a great journey. I wouldn't miss it.